This is the Life Journey Podcast with Quentin, a.k.a. Q Gauze No Days Off. From on the field and off the field, NFL player and entrepreneur. Motivating you to be the best you can be and getting you out of your comfort zone. Sharing with you travel, sports, and entrepreneurial tips with amazing guests on the show. Now, get ready for your life to change with the Life Journey Podcast and your host, Quentin Gauze. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Life Journey Podcast with your host, Quentin Gauze. We have a special guest here named Gab. And Gab, let everybody know where you're from and where you're at right now. All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Well, I'm glad to be here. First of all, thank you for having me. So, let me check that. Um, so, what about me? I'm from Paris. I was actually born in Congo, from Paris. Um, cool stuff is I did about 112 countries so far. Wow. Uh, about 30 with my daughter. A bit more than 30 with my daughter. Uh, yeah, we all speak different languages. About five Arabic, French, English, Swahili, Italian, Lingala. You know, so, I will know my way around the world and I love doing what I do. What got you? What, what, what was your first trip ever? So I don't remember my first trip because <laughs> I was a baby, to be honest. Like I, I just know my mom sent me from Congo to Paris when I was two years old. So let us know. Yeah, what was your first trip ever? Like, that you went on, or or one that you remember? The oh, most the recent, one. Yeah, yeah the one trying? that I remember was my mom, mom sent me to uh, sent me back to Congo when I was six years old by myself. Wow. Yeah, to see like my family. Said, yeah, yeah to see my family because she just threw me on the flight, you know. Oh, wow. And I remember that was like that was a long flight. Now it's like it's eight hours from Paris to like nine hours from Paris to uh, Kinshasa. So now it's nothing. But back then, you felt like a whole like I want a whole week. Like a week just flying yeah. down on the plane. Clearly, but the first solo trip mm-hmm. when I was like a solo trip by myself was around sixteen. 16, uh, we were in Par- I was in Paris and we went to Croatia. So first time I don't, you know, I don't speak the language and uh, my dad was like, you know, my dad is Congolese, so they were big on just traveling around the country and just doing yeah. <laughs> And I was like, you no, know, for me it was crazy, but it was dope. Wow. That's cool, man. That's awesome. See, a lot, and a lot of people don't travel yeah, enough. I mean, in the U.S., a lot of people don't travel enough. Um, but yeah, it's. I what, think you guys have a different story because like you're so far from everything. <laughs> For real, like well, it's you know, true actually. Yeah. When you live in Europe, it's like all these countries are around. But right. then you got Africa. Africa is not too far, and you know we got relationships like French with colonization. So like you know, you might you might be able to speak French in this in these countries. You know, so being from the European diaspora, like I had. The opportunity to actually see countries really at a young age and just go. When you're in America, like just go to Africa or just go to Europe, like, it's a little bit more complicated. Right, you gotta like you gotta, you gotta take longer trips. Like you at least take a month out exactly. to like really like experience. And experience, like, because nowadays I feel like over tourism that like we got over IG and all this stuff. Right, kind of not kill the game, but like kill some people's experiences. I see. You know, that's how I feel. I'm not saying it's bad, if, you know, to live out of IG or travel out of IG or anything. I'm just saying, when I travel, and when I when it's not on a, on a video business contract, mm-hmm. when I travel to for the culture, I want to understand. I don't Google stuff. Mm. And I go there, and I'm willing to actually lose myself. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I don't no, I don't know like. People will be like, yo, you should have come yesterday because there was a train. I'm like, ah, so what's the other option? Like, this, that, this bus or that. But I'm traveling. I'm trying to travel the old way. Like, how uh, could I do if I didn't have Google? Like, if I didn't have so you're a risk taker. Oh, yeah, big time. Especially when you travel because that shapes your experience so in mm. so many ways. Like, you want to try. At least you should, I, sh- I recommend try at least one travel without using Google. And just talk to people. You see the whole difference. Like you're like, oh man, that's a whole different thing. Wow, yeah, that's that, that, that is an awesome. That's an awesome thing to hear, though. Like a lot of people, again, are afraid. Uncomfortable. People are afraid to get uncomfortable. But that's why it's great to be here at Destiny Fest right now because yeah, we got people that do it all the time, and it's so it's so normal. Yeah, it's so. I mean, again, we all. I mean, 
every travel is travel. Like if you take a bus to go somewhere, the boat, like it doesn't matter. You don't have to go to um, to every house of the world, right? You just you just need to get out. Right. You know, or it's your comfort zone. You might be the next state. Maybe it's uh, it's the next country. You know, it doesn't matter. But when you do that, taking the time to really experience something mm -hmm. in a life where everything goes really fast. That's just dope part. And everybody here, like, you know, at least had this one experience where you lose yourself, but at the same time, you find yourself. Exactly. Because you awesome. talk to yeah. people, you see what you're capable of, what you're not capable of, mm -hmm. you know, and you adapt. Like, you know, you're just willing to adapt because that's what travel do to you. Like, you give you no choice but to adapt. You gotta adapt. Right? Yeah, yeah, there's no, I mean, if you're not friendly and you need something, you're gonna get that smile out there because you want people to help you out, and, and people are willing to help. Like, right. You know, so that's why I feel like it's good about it. Just gotta go and do it. Just gotta go and do it. Last, last thing, man. Uh, leave the people that are out there that are listeners and watchers to encourage. What, what, leave themselves with something to encourage them to go travel, or something that one of your pet peeves, or something like that. To help them out. I think. Y'all don't know how much travel can bring you. Outside of money, like, you know, sometimes people are like, yeah, if I travel, I'm gonna spend money. That's, first of all, that's not really true. <laughs> because I've seen people buying two pair of J's, that could be a trip to Tanzania and back, <laughs> to be yeah, honest with you. <laughs> to be honest yeah. with you. But he brings you so much in terms of, it's like a, it's like a good therapy. Mm. Like, like you like damn like I did that you know and and he brings you so much and I'm not just talking to sell anything because that's me to y'all like truth is even though I did more than a hundred countries sometimes I go places because you do a lot of countries but you don't do everything in the country exactly. you know so I sometimes I go back to countries that I did but other spot and I'm like yo this is so dope, like I'm glad I did that, I've learned that, I met that dude, and, and yo, it was fun. Those are memories, and to be honest, like you want to keep memories, like you just don't want to, you want to create something that you like. So, my best advice is really just, just go. Just go. Yeah, really just go. That's a great quote leaving with me. I, I appreciate you having me on the show. Man, thanks for having me, bro, I appreciate that. Thank you, I know you travel a long way to get out here. Oh, man. <laughs> It was no good. But I'm happy I'm doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, 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 we're about to close. It's all good. Right. So, no, so appreciate you and um, thank you for being on the show, brother. Thanks, Thanks again. Yes. Thank you for listening to the Life Journey Podcast with Quentin Gauze.